D major scale uses two sharps, the C sharp and the F sharp. I personally like to build up from four simple chords, and this is what we're going to start with. I'm Laura Saggers and I'm the piano professor for Professor.com and this is what to ask a potential teacher. So you have your teachers lined up, the ones that you think might be potential for your kid. What do you ask them? Well, first of all you want to find out how much they cost. And this can range between 20 bucks for an hour to 50 bucks for half an hour. And either way, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, you might find a student who's coming out of college and is charging 10 bucks for half an hour. Or you may find the most exquisite professor who's traveled the world and toured in many, many places, and they're gonna charge you 50 bucks for half an hour. Either way, it's your decision how much you wanna pay, because there's so many options out there. Secondly, the duration of lessons. I've taught kids in the past that are about 45. That's because they're really, really keen on the subject. Um, but then sometimes I've also taught students for an hour. That's mainly they're a little bit more advanced, they're either working towards a recital or an exam. The majority of lessons generally last 20 to 30 minutes. I would then ask maybe what discounts the teacher offers. Many discounts are going for at the moment for, let's say, the first lesson free. And I think that's a really good one because you want to have your child that's going to you know, bond with the teacher. You also want to find out if you know, they're going to get along. So to have the first one free is a really good incentive and many teachers offer it. Secondly, with regards to discounts, if you want to pay in bulk, let's say 12 weeks at a time, that's sometimes they're going to offer you a free lesson in return. So I would, it's worth questioning. So after that, I would ask what you're expected to buy. If I have a new student come to me, I need them to buy a homework book. Just a plain piece of, you know, a padded, plain notepad, which is perfect. I need to write down their homework for it, and then you get to go home and take a look at what they're expected to learn. It's also a good reference point for the students so they don't forget. And then I would ask, well, do they want to teach at home, or do you have to take your kid to their house? And if you don't mind, that's fine. I would always recommend teaching in your own house, because then you can go and do some chores around the house and have, well, maybe 30 minutes to yourself, or as we're, either way, you're probably going to have to sit in someone else's house and just wait for 30 minutes. It's a little bit more productive. So, recitals or extras? Some teachers do recitals. I did, and I think it's brilliant. But, you know, it takes a level of organization, and many students don't like playing live. So, maybe into inquire as to what other extras the teacher offers. Finally, what experience they've had. Some teachers are brand new, and so you may find a student that's just come out of college and is desperate to start teaching, but there's no way they, they have the nerve to charge 50 bucks for half an hour. They're probably more likely to spend 20 bucks for an hour, or maybe 10 bucks for half an hour, just so they can start building up a clientele. And that's, that's fine. Doesn't mean they're a bad teacher if they charge so little. But you're generally looking at around maybe 30 to 50 for an hour, or any, any of that up if you want to go for someone a little bit more experienced. So I'm Laura Saggers, and I'm the piano professor for Professor.com. And this is What to Ask a Potential Teacher.